Hello everybody and welcome to another general vlog video. Today we're going to do a guitar review as you can tell clearly by what's beside me. <coughs> Excuse me. Now these guitars are from a, a company called Glary. G-L-A-R-R-Y. You can check them out at glarymusic.com or search them Glary Instruments. Um, first, I'm going to do a review on each one of them. I'm going to tell you how much I gave for them, and I'm going to tell you my honest, 100% honest opinion. Now, you got to remember, starting out, that I've been playing guitar for probably more than 40 years. Uh, and I've got some of the best of the best. I've got a 52 Fender, Telecaster, uh, Martins, Taylors, um, Fenders, Gibsons, PRSs. Uh, I've either got them or I've had almost every brand name that you can have. And I have some, or I've had some off-brands before. I consider Glary an off-brand. But, uh, quit. No. Anyways, I'm sorry, I've got a puppy down here and I've got a cat over here and they're both trying to get into things. So, let's just jump right in. Now, the amp that I'm using is a very cheap, this is one of my son's amps. These are all my son's guitars. Two of them I bought, one of them my son bought on his own. <coughs> this one here belongs to my oldest and we'll go through it first. And the amp that I'm going through is a very, very cheap Epoch amp. It's his little amp. We're going to do a clean and a dirty. And we're just going to kind of jump right into it. So, okay. Well, first, let's go overall. The appearance, I'm not big on a white guitar. It's what my son wanted. It's pretty awesome as far as looks. The fit and finish, if you guys go back and check some of my older videos to where I bought my kids guitars, I think that's what it might even be named. Uh, you can see the unboxing of, of both of these, this one, this one. And then if you go and look at uh, one, I think it's named My Son Bought His First Guitar. You'll be able to see that one over there, the unboxing, the initial reactions of them. Uh, I can tell you just a spoiler. I was very impressed, very impressed. Not too impressed the first unboxing of that. And then I will go over with some work that I had to do to it and stuff of that nature. Okay, so this one here, straight out of the box, I've never done anything to this one. So let me get my old man glasses on over here. And we'll kind of look. Uh, first thing I'll tell you is the action is a bit high. But I can tell you that it's not high enough that it's been a concern, concern to me. Ow, the dog just scratched me. And... My son's never complained about it, but it is, uh, if you go, normally as a, a good indication, if you take a thicker pick and you put it up on the first fret, it should hold that first, it, it should hold that pick so that it does. There. Now on the top, yeah, I guess it does. Well, actually I was holding the strings. But no, it still does. Barely, but it does. And then down here at the 12th fret, I always judge, just a good judge, I tell people, take a quarter. And if a quarter will fit in there comfortably, or less than a quarter, the thickness, the size of a quarter, you're good. This one, I would say, is quite a bit over a quarter. Um, I should probably have a quarter out about right now, but I don't. So it's not horrible, it's playable out of the box. We'll talk about fret ends. The frets are these little silver things. The fret ends, they're not the best in the world, but they're not the worst. I would say it's comparable to like a Squire by Fender. Um, strap buttons look good. The back, has no neck plate, seems to be very stable, and then you've got your trim cover and your 
excess for your three, your two controls here and your five-way switch. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, it is five. This is humbucker, single humbucker. So HSH. Um, tuning keys. I didn't notice. I just tuned them up. I didn't notice any tuning stability problems. No glitches or nothing. Didn't feel like. With the headstock dip down in there, it does feel kind of weird because this in here sits down and lower. But one second I got used to it. The nut, it's not the perfect fit in the world, but it's also not the worst. I've seen higher end guitars with a worse nut quality as far as fitment goes. It's just a cheap plastic nut. The whammy bar, it does come with this bar. This bar is removable. Uh, it's the old screw in style. Um, jack plate's there. Now we won't go over all this on the other one. These two are identical other than colors. Um, it feels, uh, it's a little loose. I do see that. Um, but that's once again just reaching in there and tightening it up. Uh, but that's not a huge deal. So, string through here, just kind of like a strat setup. We're going to go dimed out all the way. Um, we'll check a little bit on each one, kind of get a sound quality check whatever you want to call it so let's get this dude plugged in let's get the amp turned on and my light just went out I wonder why my backlight just went out hmm I turn the amp on and the backlight goes out excuse me a second why I look and see why that happened must have been a power draw or something because I've got them both plugged in the same outlet. All right, so here's a clean sound. I'm just gonna make a chord and you guys can hear the clean sound. That is the back pickup. And I'm not gonna get in because I've not even checked to see what they're configured as. This is number two. Not quite as chimey. Three, four, got louder I can hear, and five, which five we know is the neck pickup. Um, amp probably needs to be adjusted, let's see, let's turn the treble half. Let's turn the bass half. Let's turn the volume half. It's a humbucker, so it's going to be a little bit, I guess you'd say distorted. Let's get you guys down here where you can actually see what's going on. So there it is. I mean, uh, it doesn't sound bad. I can tell you that. So, I'm always a neck pickup person. Uh. So, it's not bad. It's, the neck has no finish on the back, or if it does, it's like a satin finish or something. It feels like there's no finish. It's a thin, nice, comfortable neck. I would say with a five minute setup adjusting these, this guitar is, there's no problems with this guitar. The fit and finish was excellent on this guitar. Um, I like the way they put everything together. The design itself, I'm not big on, but I knew my kids would absolutely love it. So this is Redneck Ricky's guitar. Uh, let's do, let's see how stable the trim system is. I don't expect much out of it. I've got USA Strats that's got the same trim system on it. 
better made, I'm sure, but the same style. And even those don't stay in tune. So we'll listen, make sure we're in tune. That's rough. I just, I don't like a humbucker. Just my personal opinion. Now as soon as I did that, I could feel it catching in the nut up here. That's the black piece there that you can see between my thumb and my index finger is a nut. Um, Alright, I just did it lightly. Bad. Let's do it a little bit heavier. Check it. Wow, that's kind of impressive. <coughs> All right. So now let's go to some dirty tones. Distortion. you guys so I'm sure it's probably blowing out the mic on the phone I'm really trying not to play anything so I don't get copyright Copywriting law, copywritten law, whatever it's called. tell you that this guitar is very passable the price of this guitar was I've got my thing pulled up over here $79.99 now I can tell you I did not buy this particular guitar from Glary I bought this guitar off of eBay it was brand new I don't remember what the seller was and it might have been Glary if they sell on eBay it might have been them but it was a brand new Glary guitar still in the box Come shipped from their factory. You can see the scarf joint right here. That, that's really nice. That's added stability. So, would I recommend this guitar? This white glary, what is it? They're called Burning Fire is the style of it. Would I recommend this? Yes. Would I recommend it for a kid? Yes. Would I recommend it for somebody that's been playing guitar for a couple years and just wants an extra guitar yes would i recommend it to a professional hey if i got to recommend a guitar for a professional they're probably not professional so all in all nice guitar so let me put you on pause and we'll get the next one out all right and here's the next one um Basically, we'll run through. I'll make sure. This one did come from Glary. I ordered this from Glary myself. Um, I didn't notice any tuning stability problems. Um, 
frets feel perfect. Actually, this one here, the frets feel better. Uh, the action... I would say the action is lower on this one. Oh, it is. The, the action's half as low on this one. So, we dimed all the way out. Um, it doesn't... The, the trim bar doesn't seem to stay where the other one did. But that, that might be as easy as taking it out and re-screwing it back in. Um, same setup. This one here is just black on the back. It does have the beautiful sunburst on the front. Uh, the neck, same neck, same scarf joint, same everything as the first guitar. Wow. Hey, this is a beautiful color. I just don't like the body style myself. So let's get into hearing it real quick. Whoa. Well, and there went that light again. So yeah, every time I turn this on, it must draw too much power. So why was this in here squealing at that level? <laughs> Oh, because I'm sitting so close to the amp. Duh. Alright. So let me get my light turned back on. You guys know we, we've already been through all this. So you're kind of experienced at it. <laughs> Alright. So I'm going to try to keep it more over here. More over here so we don't feed back. <laughs> to a clean sound. Now I can turn this way. Anyways, it's basically the identical same thing. I do notice a, diff a couple different char characteristic flaws. Um, once again, the fit and finish of this one is as close to perfect as you could ask for. The action is lower here. Seems to be a bit higher here when I play it. Let's check the, the neck. Make sure it ain't all bowed. Well, the neck does have a little relief to it, which is fine. I, it feels completely different. It sounds completely different. Um, well, the microphonic part, more or less, of... Let's see how microphonic the pickups really are. Hello. 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 Not too bad, but there's a completely different sound on this one. This one actually sounds better than this one, in my opinion, in my personal opinion ear here. My ear here. You like that? Alright, anyways, once again, would I recommend this one? Yes. It's, it's great for a beginner. It's great for an intermediate guitar player. A professional probably is not going to want one because they don't feel the quality of a good quality guitar. These, you got to remember, this one was $79.99. I don't think there was any tax or anything. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, apparently there was. Because it was $78.98 and then it come up to be $79.99. So there was something added to it. Uh, for an $80 guitar, 
I mean, you could probably buy a Fender Squire for about the same price. Would I recommend this over a Fender Squire? I would personally because Fender Squires, everybody's got one. You know where I was going with that, right? Um, and these are different. So yeah, I mean, if you've got a typical kid that's into rock and stuff, uh, yeah, th this is, I would definitely recommend this one at 80 bucks. All right, so you know where that puts us? Down to the acoustic. So, let me get all of it all set up. Well, we'll just jump right into it. Let me grab it. All right, first we'll go with the unboxing. Let me get you, well, no, you just stay down here on the guitar. Okay, now it does not come shipped with a pit guard, but the pit guard does come with it. Each, each one of these come with, they call it a, a soft shell case or a gig bag, I guess is what it's called. It's basically a dust cover, but it is something. They each come with the adjusting tools um, on electric. It's up here. Adjust the truss rod on an uh, acoustic. It's down in here. Uh, I come with the whammy bars. Comes with a strap. I think it comes with a strap, and it comes with a cord. <clears throat> and that's a pretty good deal. This here come with the extra pit guard. I don't think it come with a strap. Um, all right, so let's just jump right into this one. Glary, if these were the guitars that you made, I would never buy another guitar from you. Uh, and there's a lot of disappointment on this one, and we'll get into the major disappointment first. My child saved his hard-earned money to buy this guitar. And this guitar barely, at best, is barely playable. Had have I not done some pretty extensive work to it, it wouldn't even be playable. And it still needs a ton more work. So, that being said, I would not recommend this guitar to, to nobody. I, the, you could probably go to Walmart and buy a first act and get something 20 times better than this. This is, by chance, the... Glary GT506. Now, like I said, the thing that hurts me the most on this is my son saved his hard-earned money. Ten-year-old son. Ten-year-old son saved his hard-earned money for this. And this guitar is barely playable. Did I send it back? No. Because he doesn't play that much, so he doesn't know how bad it is. Uh, I keep doing that. The frets are so sharp, they will actually cut you. Um, this cost him $53.99. So, you don't expect a whole lot for $53.99, but you do expect a whole lot more than this. I remember buying my kids them little cheap plastic Walmart guitars. I know one of them had, uh, cars on it. You know, the, the movie Cars. I remember that. Uh, the other one might have been Planes. But they were better than these. So with that being said, let's go over the bad of it. Tuning keys, very unstable. Uh, they click, they grind. You get them to a certain spot, they back off by themselves. So that's not too good. The nut is passable. The fret ends, oh my God. The, I, I don't know if you guys can hear. I'm going to run my pick down this. See, it, it hangs on that one there real bad. You can see it even scratched the heck out of the pick. Uh, yeah, they these are just... Anyways, I'm trying not to down it too bad, but it is really a piece of junk. Uh, I don't know how well it's going to show up, but right here, they've sanded through the finish. There's another spot. That they've sanded through the finish. Oh, right up here. Probably not going to catch that, but right here. Mm, size about that big around. They've sanded completely through the finish. Now, these are not cracks. Even though they kind of look like cracks, they're not. Those are actually just wood grain. Uh, kind of cool, kind of not cool. I don't know. Uh, the pit guard I had no complaints with. My son wanted on there, so I did put it on. Um... 
I had to lower the action. I can't go any lower. If I go any lower, then my strings are going to be sitting on this wood and not this plastic uh, bridge nut right here. Um, as far as holding a pick, it will there. Here, of course, it's not going to hold a pick here. I've got it down to a little over the thickness of the size, thickness of a quarter. All right, now we'll get through the, the sound here in a little bit. The sides, my son picked the one that has no finish. The sides, you can see there. I don't know how well that's showing up. There it is. You can see there. Um, but the sides are passable. Let's see. Look at how bad this is right here. I hope I'm catching all this. Right here. And then right here. That's all cracked. This side here ain't too bad. Except for there is a crack in the fretboard right here. But they, they filled it. There's actually a hole in the fretboard right here. Um... The markers are very, very nastily put in. There's another hole right there. Right there. Um, a void right here. Uh, but I would nitpick it for all of that. I mean, it's a $50, $54 guitar. But people, you could do a whole lot better on your fret ends. You could do, I mean, when I got it, the action was like almost a half an inch. The neck seemed to be fine. So I just ground all this down until I got it to where he was so excited that I just wanted to make it playable at all costs to me or to him, I guess. Uh, don't know if you can see how bad that end pin is. It's, it looks like it's been dropped and the end pin is really, really, really crooked. I don't know if you guys can get a, a view of that or not. There's about as straight as I can get it, but it's all dented in and they're just, I don't know, very, very, very poor quality. Um, I could probably put strings on a 2x4 and have better quality. But that's besides the point. Now let's go into the sound. It's not extremely loud, but it's loud enough that it suits my son just fine. So he doesn't have to have an amp. I'm trying to think what I can pick around on and not get copyright law against me. It's got a real slender neck on it, which is hard for me to play. bark it's a dog oh no that was probably my dog anyways so there it is very 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 disappointed in this one I know Larry could do a whole lot better so let's get this video wrapped up all right so good good bad so there's my review of the three Glary guitars. If you guys like these kind of videos, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, like, and subscribe. Once you're subscribed, please smash that bell notification. Go all the way up to the top and click all so you'll be notified on every single video that we post. Share us on your social media pages. Follow us on Facebook under General Vlog Video. And remember that when I ask you to subscribe, it's not like a magazine subscription. It's 100% free. It just helps our channel grow the same way a thumbs up helps our channel grow. With all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day, an even better tomorrow, and an awesome night. And we'll see you on the next video. And please, please, please be safe. And remember, may have two good guitars, one junky guitar, but I'm still my own cameraman. 
So I get you up close and personal and poke you guys in the ear to turn this thing off. We'll see you on the next video, and please be safe.